Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and to this video that's going to be all about the new Mystic Collection by Nabla. I have the palette right here, it's what I have on my eyes. I also have uh. the face palette, the glimmer light, it's what I have on my cheeks. And I also have all of the lippies, like liquid lipsticks. I am wearing, why is there hair here? I see it. I am wearing the My Rules uh, on my lips. I got this sent to me as PR. I got this today, even though it's already available. It's available now at Nabla. Um, I think it might be. I'll link, I'll link a couple of places down below that I know sell Nabla. And you can just go and check the links and see where it's available, because I do know that it is available now. And I did do a look. I did do the look that I have on my face right now, and it's going to be towards the end of the video. There's going to be a bunch of information in this video with some swatches and stuff, so I will leave a bunch of timestamps down below if you want to jump around or if you want to watch this again. There's going to be timestamps down in the description box so that you can jump to the part that you want to see. What is going on? That is not, that's not a good sound. Oh, let me show you. Ugh, ugh. I also got a little pouch. I don't know if this is being sold. It's like a burgundy metallic. And I thought like, I saved the box for the palette. It is the same like print as the palette. Super, super pretty. And when I got this PR package, I did get this pouch. Uh, and I also got some like, cause this is like more tarot inspired. So I got a couple of tarot cards. It says Nabla on the back. Like I know nothing about this, but I will say it made a really pretty background when I was doing some pictures. And I, I appreciate that. Like I don't need to have a big fancy box with a glow up screen and all of that music and like elephants coming into the room. I don't need that. Just something like this, something cute that I can use when I'm taking pictures. That's so cool. So I, I'm gonna save this. I like this. I'm gonna save this for future future things. And I also have the boxes for the liquid lipsticks. They also come in a similar box with the, the, the print on them. And also the box for the glimmer light. This is so pretty. It comes just in a see-through plastic one. Exactly like exactly like the plastic for the cutie palettes. They also have that little plastic. This is what this palette looks like. You can see this has a beautiful like holographic thing. This is meant to be, I think, a face palette and an eye palette. You can use it either way. And uh, this is what she looks like. I have the two pinks on my cheeks today. Uh, oh, I don't have any close-up swatches of these. Maybe I can do that now on my fingers and you can see, oh, these are so pretty. I tried using these both with a, a fluffier brush and a dense brush and you definitely need more of a dense brush, but I have them both, like I said, as a blush and a highlight. And these are definitely uh, usable for, for both of that, also as eyeshadow. I will say that first when I used them, and you will see that in the look, I said, like, I don't know if these are my favorite. They are a bit stiff, but I will say that now that I have them on my cheeks and they're like, come back. And they're like melded in a bit. They do look really, really pretty. And these colors are so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this orangey one as a blush. So... I do say in the look like they're not my, f and they're not my favorite, that is true, they are not my favorite, but I will say that now that I have them on my cheeks, they look really nice and they look like that more glowy blush highlighter hybrid that I kind of like, so yeah, I, I really uh, like how how these look, I will say, but I do recommend the denser brush with them, they will look a lot better then. Uh, oh, let me see if I can wipe this off, so yeah, this palette... This palette is also already available. It's part of the collection. Sorry if I don't know the prices on the top of my head, but yeah, I will leave some links down below where you can find them. Normally, Nabla eyeshadow palettes are around $40, so I'm guessing that that's gonna be around there. Don't really know what this one is. The lip colors, I'll take the lip colors last so that we, I can do some swatches of them. This palette looks like this. So this is the Dreamy 2. I do have the Dreamy 1. Maybe I should take it up and like compare it so that you can see. And you open it up and it has a mirror. There's a mirror up here. And this is what the palette looks like. I have swatched it, I have used it. This one has, I would say, two different kinds of matte formulas. And then it has three different kinds of shimmery, glittery formulas. Let me see um, if I can do this. This one is a very special formula. I only have one. This is a sheer base with lots of glitter in it. Uh, and this says eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette and I don't know if that means that that is considered a pressed glitter because it is 
pretty much a pressed glitter but with a sheer base then you have this oh this white one here that is a sheer base with a very strong light gold duochrome so that is a nice like topper shade that isn't totally opaque on its own then you have the metallic formula which are the other ones here um these are very very creamy metallic i will say that some are there are maybe even two different kinds of metallic formulas and I think that you will see that in the swatches as well. Like this one is super creamy, almost like a cream to powder with a duochrome. And the uh, bronzy one here on the end is more like a traditional uh, metallic, but it is a bit more chunky. Then you have the traditional mattes and you have uh, three mattes. You have uh, two mattes on the top and then you have the matte here, the light brown here on the bottom. Those are traditional mattes and then you have two of the latex formulas. The ones that were in the um, cutie palettes that was this summer, they are a cream to powder. You will see that in the swatches in a bit. They are, they seem like they have a bit of a sheen to them and they do have a bit of a sheen to them but I have used them as mattes today both in my crease and in my outer corner. They work like mattes. They are very creamy. These these are the kind of shadow that you can take on your finger, drag it on your eye, and then just take a brush and blend out the edge and you will have a look in five minutes. They are very creamy, like I said, cream to powder, but I felt like I could use them with a fluffy brush in my crease as a matte as well. They're a very interesting formula. I quite like them and I really like that they kept exploring that formula and showing like more things in that formula. Uh, I'm gonna go into some swatches so you can see how this palette looks all swatched out. I swatched them in two different lightings. I'm gonna see if I can find out if that actually is a pressed glitter because you will see in the swatches now that it does pretty much look like a pressed glitter. So enjoy the swatches. say anything either on the box or the palette and there's nothing in here so I'm guessing the glitter is finely milled enough to be considered eye safe. Uh, Nabla is a European brand it's an Italian indie brand and is made in Italy. The packaging is not thick but it's very heavy duty cardboard and it's always really beautiful art print on it. This is a plastic packaging though with the holographic front and then the red bottom. This also has a mirror. And then we have the lip uh, lip thingies but I want to show you the dreamy one first so we can compare them to each other um, and see if they're like similar if they go together because I'm guessing there is a reason why this is dreamy too. Why they just didn't name it the mystic palette. So. Let me get that one. I have gotten a lot of requests if I could, this is what the palettes look like uh, next to each other, if I could rank all of the Nabla palettes and I am gonna do that. I'm just gonna try this one out. I actually al also bought the last Nabla palette on Black uh, Friday, uh, the Soul Blooming palette. So I'm also gonna uh, be like using that and trying that a bit so we can see if uh, how I feel about that one and then I'm gonna rank them uh, so this is what the dreamy palette looks like you can see this is much lighter and and definitely more of an airy palette so this is what these look like next to each other uh, the dreamy palette has really really nice formula but not as many different formulas as the the, the new like concepts do because I feel like the mystic the dreamy 2 has like I said five maybe even six different kinds of formulas and I would say that the original one has three a, a foil formula a matte formula and then one more glittery shade up top uh, but I feel like they are getting more and more into doing just these interesting palettes with different kinds of formulas and I'm super super into that so if you are eyeing this palette and you like the color scheme this is a very dual toned dark 
mystic palette and also once you see it swatched out you can see that it actually has more colors than you would think maybe when you see it like this but it is definitely very neutral leaning but you also saw in the swatches that this is a dark plum this is a pinky red and then you have this more brick orange here and you have two purples one that is like a dark duochrome one and then this like pinky rusty one and the duochrome here and the glittery blue so there is a bunch of different colors they're just very murky and mystical and like jewel toned and um, so it is a definitely a different color scheme for them I do hope though that they will come out with something that has even more colors like the cutie palette with the coral oh, love that one I think it's so good so I definitely hope that we will see uh, more of that in the future I'm just taking these off now let's talk about the lippies I am wearing one of the lippies today and this is in my rules it's like a I would say that this is like a 90s mauve. It is a... This is not a transfer... This is not a transfer proof formula. Maybe I should put it like that. This is marketed as a liquid lipstick, but it has a, like you can see, a satin finish and it is not transfer proof. It, it's extremely opaque, one swipe opaque, very easy to work with, like a very creamy, non-liquidy formula. It feels extremely comfortable. It feels like having a satin lipstick on, but it's easier to apply with this. I did not use a, a lip liner with this. I just went in with the applicator. It smells a bit fruity. So if you are looking for a lip, more like a lip cream, something that doesn't dry out, that feels really comfortable on the lips because this feels great on the lips. Maybe this could be something for you. Like I said, I'm wearing my rules now. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the other shades as well because they're all pretty mauve neutrally, and then some reddish leaning colors. So I'm gonna try all of them on. I'll, I'll go from the darkest and go into the lightest. This is Vicious. So let me see if I can take this off. I'm not doing the most perfect application <laughs> because I'm, this is literally the last thing I'm doing. Wow, what a color. Not the most perfect application but good enough. This is a dark scarlet red. This is the vampiest of like sexy old Hollywood because it's not a bright candy apple red. This has a bit of <laughs> darkness to it. It's very sexy and sultry. So this is vicious and this is beautiful. Maybe not with this look but this would be so pretty if you just use the Dionysus. This color here just drag that on the lid and blend it in the crease and some mascara. That would be such a cool, almost like a throwback to the 90s, but modern. This is a beautiful lip though. I love having a glossy, cause this isn't glossy though, I love having a shiny. This is more like a satin red lip at times. I think that is so pretty. So yeah, now I've done that one and now we're gonna do, this is very 90s bricky red. This is Mood for Love. So let me take this one off and we'll do that. Mm. Had to powder over a bit. Poor lips. That is stunning. That is even more orange than I thought it was gonna be. Hmm. That application is janky. <laughs> but that is Mood for Love. It's very pretty, but it's more like a, almost like a burnt coral than what I thought it was going to be, but it's super pretty on the lips. I really love a color like this. Maybe not exactly with this eye look right now, but all in all, why is my hair looking like this? Because I just got home from work and it's as good as it's going to get. This is the kind of color that I love to reach for when I want to have something of a statement lip. I think this is absolutely stunning. Love it. So now we have three neutrals left and I think I'll pick the uh, darkest one first. This one is called Adam's Dream. Ooh, this seems like a color I'd love. Oh, this is like milk chocolate. This application is getting <laughs> worse and worse by the minute. But this is Adam's Dream. This is my favorite so far because this is like true milk chocolate. It's beautiful it's like a nude that is a mid-tone nude on me it is not a light nude it is a mid-tone nude this would probably be super gorgeous of a nude on you if you have a darker skin tone because it is such a nice milky chocolate that is very neutral but it's 
probably not gonna turn up too ashy on you. I'm just guessing here, but I feel like this could be a nude that would look really nice if you have a darker skin tone. And if you're fair, this is gonna be such a nice milky chocolate on you as well. I love this color. I feel like this is a great nude that would fit a lot of people. So far, my fave. Okay, next one. Next one is Eve. Okay, so Adam's dream and now we're into Eve. This seems to be more of a pinky nude. Yeah, this is a lighter nude that has a slight pinky undertone. This is very pretty though. Maybe it's more of a peachy, peachy pinky nude. This is a very flattering nude on me. I have a light skin tone. I think this is really nice as well. I do prefer the other one just ever so lightly, the Adam's Dream, but only because this one was more brown and I feel like that is pretty. This one goes really good with this look though because this look has a bit more of a plummy, plummy tone already. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I need, need dinner. <laughs> but I do like this one as well. These are extremely comfortable. So I only have one left, and this is the lightest of the of the ones. There, it's very similar to this one, but this one seems to be uh, the same tone as the Adam's Dream, but it seems to be lighter. So I'm hoping this is hedonist. I'm hoping that this is a lighter beige nude on me because I love that. So talk about it so let me fix this and I'll do the last one okay last one this is hedonist yeah this is a light a light beige nude on me I love that though this is stunning color this is also a favorite so so far I think my two favorites are the uh, Adam's dream and this one that's hedonist this is the hedonist the, the lighter one and it's because I'm so into nudes and I'm so into beige like brown nudes not too pink not too peach not too anything I do like when they're a bit yellow tone though but this is a true beige nude super pretty if it's leaning anything it would be slightly slightly peach but to be fair it's mostly like a beige I love it though I think it's so pretty and that was everything that was all the swatches that was all the information there's gonna be a look coming now don't forget that there are timestamps down below if you want to skip around and see some things again let me know your thoughts down below I'm so happy to be able to try this brand in PR I'm so happy to be on their PR list this is turning out to be one of my favorite brands I just really love what they're doing and I will have a video ranking all of my Nabla eyeshadow palettes. I don't think I'll include this one because this is meant more to be a highlighting palette, I think. It says illuminating palette, so maybe I won't be including this, but I will be including the Dreamy 2 and I will be including uh, all the other palettes that I have because I have all of their eyeshadow palettes now. So do uh, keep an eye open for that. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming up. But now let's get in to the demo with me doing this look right here, but with the lip I had on <laughs> before. <laughs> okay, it's time to do the makeup look. I have foundation and eyebrows and bronzer on. This is what the palette looks like. For me, this is the first impression and I'm so excited. Like, oh my god. You've already seen this. It's only me being like gushing over this because I haven't tried it yet. You've already seen the result. <laughs> you time travelers, you. There's already a cat hair here. I am though going to start with the Glimmer Light, which is the multi-reflective illuminating palette. This is what she looks like. This one is like a berry. Since this has been described as sheer color with reflective, I'm going to use this as a blush and a highlighter. I'm going to use this as a blush and this one as a highlighter. And so let's see how that is. Let's see if I can pick it up with this brush and how it's... That's really pretty. Okay, I really love that as a as a like a blush. It's like a darker wine on me. And I bet that if you are of a darker skin tone, you could pull this all the way up on your cheekbones. But for me, it's slightly too dark for that. It's not that shimmery though, and I think that that is because of the brush. So let me switch brush to more of a highlighting brush. And let's see. Oh yeah. If I switch to a denser brush, that's when I get the shimmer. So I do think that maybe, even if you want to use this as a blush, if you want to have the shimmer, you might need to use a denser brush. And uh, let me use the lighter one up here now. Ooh. 
that's pretty. Yeah, this lighter one is definitely a highlighter on me. It's like a baby pink. I'm using this on my face, but I mean, obviously you can use it as an eyeshadow as well. I just felt like it's the kind of formula that I wanted to use on my face. I think it's really pretty. Is it my favorite formula I've ever used? I don't know about that. This is a first impression though. But it is really glowy and pretty and it looks really, really nice. Yeah, I like it. Is it my favorite? Maybe not, but it's definitely pretty for sure. Now, let's get into the eyeshadows. I want to do something so sultry and so smoky. And since this palette has a bunch of different um, formulas, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna start with this Deja Vu and then I'm gonna go into New Past. And I'm gonna start with those two matte colors in my crease and see where, like, where that alone will take us. That was very pigmented and actually really nice and smoky and it does look like in the pan like it has more of a reddish tone than it does on the eyes because I feel like on the eyes it's more like a true like chocolate. Since this palette has a matte highlighting shade why don't we use that on the brow bone? I usually do not use uh, something shimmery on my brow bone, but I can live with the matte. I'm gonna take that new past, the darker shade, uh, and really smoke up my lower lash line as well. And like meet up a bit here as well. That is pigmented. So far I've only used one kind of a formula. I've only used the, the matte formula. I want to try the the more reddish shade here, Dionysus. Uh, this one is one of those latex shades. It's like a cream to powder. Uh, we had that this summer in their nudie palette. I'm just gonna see how this one is if I blend it a bit on the edge because it seems a bit reddish, yeah. So I'm just gonna put a bit of this on my lower lash line to make it a bit more red. I think I'm gonna try a bit, you know, I'm gonna take a brush like this instead. This is actually an, uh, an Abla brush, this is the pointed crease. Um, these were the brushes that they, I'm just cleaning it a bit, this were the brushes they came out with this summer together with the new latex formula. So I'm gonna use a bit of that Dionysus on that and I'm gonna see if I can just make this look a bit more red by just layering this on top of the brown a bit. That is a pretty shade. Just blending everything out a bit. I do want this to be super smoky, if you can tell. So I am going to use a bit of offline as well. It seems to be a... S like, what is this color? It's not a black, it's like an almost black. So I'm going to use a bit of that as well. Um, and just really smoke out uh, the outer corner. It's almost like a plummy black. Yeah, that's what I would say that this is. This is a plum that's so dark that it's almost black. And it is that latex formula, so it's super pigmented, uh, just like the black one was in the palette we had this summer. Yeah, that is... That is... Stunning. This is definitely exactly the kind of smoky I was hoping to get with this palette. So, I mean, I'm not disappointed by the level of darkness that this palette gives me. And I like that it's not a black. I like that it's this plum. Okay, so what do I want to do on my lid? There is a bunch of, like, lovely shimmers to choose from. Do I want to have... A, like, a part of me wants to have this one. This duochrome, like, because this is a duochrome bronze smoky purple, but then other part of me is like, no, pick the periwinkle purple. Do I want to do both, maybe? You know what, I'll start with this one because it will go with this plum so good. I do not have paper. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, let me put it on my pants. Sorry, pants. I am gonna spray it because I do not want any fallout, but I'm starting with the Hidden Place, um, which is the color next to the dark, like, plum. 
Oh, I got a little fallout. I think I took too much on my brush. And I'm gonna put this basically all over my lid. That slight duochrome with the like purple and the bronze, it's very, it's very indie. Uh, and get this in the right way. I'm so excited to see formulas like this reach outside of the in the sphere. I mean, because this is a brand that's now available at Ulta, but that formula and that like finish is very, very indie. That is very pretty. Very smoky, but very pretty. Okay, so I used the color down here. This one, it is like a smoky purple bronzy duochrome. I'm gonna use the Mirabilia, the one that's like a lavender periwinkle shimmer and I'm gonna wrap my inner corner with that. I'm gonna spray that one as well, just because I just tried, to, just, just, <laughs> just try to have as little fallout as possible because I always like doing my face first and my eyes after. I am gonna use just a little bit of the Lucid Dream. This is, well, it seems to, I haven't even swatched this yet. It seems to be one of those like light gold duochromes, like Makeup Geek's Voltage. Hmm. So let me spray that and just put that in the absolute in the corners. I really like this. It is super smoky, but it is super sexy. Let me do some liner, let me do some mascara, and something for the waterline, and I'll come back and we'll um, finish it up. Okay! My share is sounding so weird. I hope I'm in focus. I did put some mascara on and a bit of liner. These are not twins today. They are not, they're not even distant cousins. I'm not sure they ever met. These wings... They met today for the first time. I am wearing the Play 101 pencil in number 23 in my waterline. This is by Etude House. This is like a plummy red. I just wanted to keep the plummy red, so I decided to go with that in my waterline. Let me put on, because I have, stupid, spongy, spongy, spongy. I have all of these liquid lipsticks, and I tried one of these on my hand, because uh, these are the new ones for the collection. This is what they look like, with like a pewter, like, almost like, not black, it's like a pewter, yeah, uh, lid. And these came with the collection and I tried one of them on my hands and I know that they don't dry down. So maybe I'll swatch all of them on my lips, but I'm gonna start with one now. I think I'm gonna start with this one because it is the most plummy one. So I'll start with this one. This one is called My Rules. And they smell a little fruity. Mmm, extremely pigmented. So let me put this on and I'll do some lashes as well and I'll come back and show you um, the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel like it could be like in a teen witch movie. Like this is my prom outfit for insert any teen movie from the 90s. But I feel very like, I feel very the Mystic Palette. I, I, I do truly feel like I embody the kind of collection that I imagined this would be when I heard about the Mystic Collection. I really like this. I think this looks really pretty. I am wearing the uh, original Iconics. They are so torn though, so this is probably going to be the last time I wear them. Don't know if I have a backup. Might need to go and check on that because they are my favorite lashes ever. So yeah, that was the finished look. That was everything for this video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked my thoughts and my swatches and the look and all of it. It is already available. I am kind of sorry that it's up a bit late, but it's not my fault. I did my best. Okay, I got it today and I, and I got it up as soon as I could. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be subscribed, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. I upload quite a lot of videos and if you like makeup, I'm sure that you would like it here with us <laughs> on my channel. I have lipstick on my teeth. I don't think so. I will see you I think tomorrow for another video. Wow, I'm doing good. Good for me. I will see you tomorrow for another video. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving in like retro thing. I know you just had it because a lot of my viewers are from US. 
So happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Bye.